What is going on everyone? It is time for another potential test in MLB 16, the show. As always, leave your comments down below of any player you want to see tested in future episodes. But today's test subject is going to be none other than Miguel Sano, the Twins' top prospect, 22 years old, burst onto the scene last year. He is only a B potential, but is already an 83 overall, 6'4", 260 pounds. This guy is an absolute beast. Reminds me of a young Miguel Cabrera. We'll see if he turns out. He's got the power to prove it. You see his attributes already. Played 80 games last year. He hit 18 home runs, 52 RBIs, 269. A great start. But now we're going to see how he progresses over five seasons. You see he's currently getting a little bit of a bump from his morale. But we'll see how that changes. After season number one, what's he going to go up to? It's going to be up to an 83. He actually is going to end the season hurt. He fractured his wrist. And that is going to affect some of his attributes. He does get plus seven to his kind of versus righties. But only one for lefties. His power goes down one for righty, four for lefty. Does get changed in his vision. But everything else is pretty much changing three or two points. So as we take a look at his numbers, he still had an okay year only played 107 games he had 121 hits 21 home runs 55 rbis and hits 292 so he's actually having a great year but that is going to be ended by injury that is disappointing we'll see how that affects him though he is just satisfied now so only an 83 so he only went up a couple points but he still is okay with the contract just unhappy with the injury obviously so we move on to season number two what's he going to go up to after season number two hopefully a lot and yes, he does. He picks up four points as he goes up plus seven for his contact versus righties, plus two for lefties. He goes up plus two for his power versus righties. Again, though, down where his power versus lefties goes down five in that one. We don't like to see that. Plus five again to vision, though, plus three to clutch, two to his bunts, three to his durability, plus two and three to his fielding, arm strength, accuracy, reaction, and then minus one to his speed, but his speed not too high, not what he's obviously known for. The power, though, is still there and is still growing at 89 power versus ready. That is really, really big. He plays 143 games, so plays a full season. He gets 33 home runs, 93 RBIs, and hits 299. Just misses out on 300. So you can already see this dude is an absolutely solid hitter. He is happy, so he's picking up a plus two in terms of his overall, which which is great to see even with being unhappy with his contract but you can tell his role he's really happy with so after season number three what's going to go up to now and just minimal gain there only up to an 88 he gets plus four to his contact versus righties contact versus lefties is going to go down two another plus four for his power that's up to a 93 but his power versus lefties again goes down minus five that's down to a 59 so not doing too well against the lefty pitchers Plus three to his clutch, plus two to bunts, and drag bunt, plus two to durability, and all of his fielding and arm stats. He plays 146 games, has 150 hits, 32 home runs, 76 RBIs, only 270 average, but still, that's really solid. I will consider that very good, and the home runs are still there. The power is obviously there, so that's big, and he is still going to be happy, so he's still picking up that plus two to his overall. But with only two seasons remaining, we're hoping to see maybe a big jump in his overall here in at some point. The numbers are there. We hope to see it in the overall as we move into season number four. What's he going to move to now? And here's the jump we'd like to see up to a 91, plus five to contact versus righty, minus three again to his contact versus lefties, but he's picking up plus four. Now 97 power versus righties, plus one to his power. Finally, his power versus lefty goes back up, but he goes minus six to his discipline. That was a 99, that's down to a 93, plus one to his bunt, and then plus one across the board to his fielding stats. 140 games, he hits 44 home runs. Wow. 110 RBIs. Wow. And 307 average finally breaks 300. So a great season from Miguel Sano as he is up to a 91 overall, but what's that doing? He's a static, he's getting plus three to his overall, so he is a true 88, but obviously you like to see the static, the morale giving him that plus three boost. So one more season to go, where is he gonna end? Is he gonna regress at some point? Is it gonna be this season? Nah, a little bit. He's a 91 overall, so he's still a 91. He gets plus two to his contact versus righty and lefties, minus three to his power. So the first time we see his power versus righties go down, but the lefty power did go down again, minus four, plus one to his vision, another two minus to his discipline, plus one to durability, and then minus one to his speed. So he has maybe started to peak at 26, five years in the majors, and he is, at, I mean, obviously still a 91 overall, so definitely, definitely a highly rated player and definitely can hit the ball really well. But taking a look at his numbers, that's where you got to kind of see here as he plays 143 games, 27 home runs, so a lot less home runs, 96 RBIs, and hits 294. So the average is still, this dude definitely, definitely can hit. But 
Uh, the power dipped is maybe that's just an off season, but that's the lowest home run total he had since his second season, since 2016. So you don't like to see that. The RBIs are still there. And in total, he does end up with 482 RBIs, 175 home runs. That's still a lot of home runs. That's a lot of RBIs. And he's a career 290 hitter. So honestly, that is really, really good. And we take a look at his morale and he is still a static. He's actually picking up a plus four in his overall. So he's a true 87. So you got to look here. He's a B potential. He's currently in 91. It looks like that's about where he's going to peak. But honestly, I have got to recommend Miguel Sano purely because of his hitting ability. This dude can absolutely rake against righties. Obviously, he's going to have a little bit of trouble against lefties. He's only got 63 contact and 56 power, but you match this guy up against right-handed hitters, and he is going to absolutely destroy them. I think it's a guy adds a big potential. Hopefully, you can trade for him if you need to. If you're not the Twins, you can maybe trade for him and not give up a whole lot. And if you are the Twins, I would definitely hang on to him between him and Byron Buxton. They are a great core uh, couple players to build on, but this guy obviously can hit very well. I would watch maybe after this time, maybe this fifth, sixth season, if he starts to aggress, maybe try to unload him and get some uh, younger prospects or get some players for him because you don't know where that regression might take him. But in terms of those first few seasons, this guy is going to do really well for you. So I have got to recommend him. But that is going to bring him to an end. He is done with the potential test. As I said at the beginning of the episode, let me know in the comments down below who you want to see tested in future episodes, and I will use those comments. But that is going to be it for this episode. If you enjoyed it, please go ahead and give it a like. I'd really appreciate it. And subscribe to see any future videos that I make. As always, thank you for watching, and I will see you all next time.